What's up girls? Today we're gonna go into that more lifted round booty. These are some exercises that are totally underrated. They're so easy to do. They're beginner friendly and as well, really great for advanced members as well. So we're gonna go into a lot of like isolation, but also compound. And I want you to really slow it down with me so you can feel it, okay? Now I know that we said no equipment, However, if you're wanting a more lifted round booty, let's just grab a water bottle for now so that you can feel what it feels like to work with some weight so that when we do start adding barbells and dumbbells together that you're just that more advanced, okay? So make sure to grab a water bottle. It can be as light or big as you want. Fill it up with some water and let's get started, okay? So what we're gonna first start into is the tabletop position. One of my absolute favorites for the glutes, okay? So we're gonna do my favorite where we're gonna actually go into a straight leg across the other leg. So it doesn't have to be too far over, but just um, probably about a foot or two. And then you're going to squeeze the glutes up and come at an, an, an angle to the opposite side. So you're drawing a diagonal line from one corner of the room to the other corner of the room. And you're immediately gonna feel it. That's what's so great about these exercises. I'm gonna show you the best ones to give you the best results immediately. So just tap and squeeze. Tap and squeeze. Now, what I see a lot of members doing is they sit a lot in that rest time where they'll sit and rest here. We don't want it to be rest and then contract and then rest and contract. So what I want you to do is get into that sweet spot with me where you're feeling the contraction throughout the entire time. So maybe you don't drop your toe all the way down. Maybe you're still about an inch off the ground and you go right back up into squeezing it. And that, my friend, is a little secret tip I'm gonna give you today, okay? After that, we're gonna do five more. Keep that core nice and tight for me too. We don't wanna arch that low back. We really pull up through that core, good. The next one we're gonna do together is that same side, all right? So the booty that's already burning, we wanna keep it burning. That was a little, another, another secret tip, okay? So what you're gonna do here, same position, you're gonna bring it out and kick it to the back bring it back out and down. Now remember, when we're down, we're not feeling the activation here. So maybe before you go all the way down, maybe we stop right here instead. So feel it within your body. So lifting up, squeeze down. Before you go all the way down, go right back into that next rep. That's right. Now eventually we'll add some bands with each other on this one because girl, when you put a booty band on for this, another level. <laughs> Another level. And you're gonna feel your other glute. Why? Because it's stability, it's making you have to stabilize yourself. And so those stability muscles are kicking in right now. So that other glute is already getting nice and warmed up for these. Let's go five more. You feel that burn? Oh yeah. Love it. Okay, now keep that same leg that you've got going on right now. I want you to remember, if you have to even put your hand on that leg for a second, do so, because I'm gonna show you the last part here. All right, so we're gonna bring it down and that leg is going to be on the ground. The one that we've been working, I want you to connect that foot. This is where we're gonna implement your water bottle. I want you to place it onto your hip Okay, you're gonna lift up. And what it looks like is when you're here, you're up. When you're down, you're gonna bring it down, okay? So up, you lift, down, you straighten out that leg. Now this is not only working your glutes, but it's also strengthening your low back and your waist. So it's really gonna give you that nice, good, smaller waist and rounder looking booty here. You feel it? And if you go really slow and controlled, you're gonna get better results. Now pay attention to that bottom leg. Sometimes I notice I have to make a little adjustment so that I can feel it. Maybe I kind of move it out a little bit, move it in a little bit. You'll kind of feel it, but you want it to be a good 90 degree so that you're really feeling the glutes. I dig my heels into the ground, lift my toes up slightly so I can get that burn. Notice when I come all the way down, I don't sit and pause and rest, but I'm right back into it. So right here, up, good. Let's go five more. Oh my goodness. Can we make it? I am burning and shaking. 
Oh, wow, I couldn't even finish. Wow, that felt so good. Okay, so great job. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the other leg, okay? Here we go. Cross that leg over and kick it up at a diagonal. Even before it hits the ground, go right back up into it. That's called your effective range of motion. Engaging, engaging. You're working all three areas of the glutes today. All muscles are engaged, giving you that lifted, round, firmer looking booty. Keep that core tight for me still, lift it up. That belly button just pulls back up to the spine so that you're getting an ab exercise the whole time too. Good, five more. Ooh, I love that. Okay, you guys ready for the next one? Ooh. Shake it out a little bit. Let's go. So kick it out, up, back, and down. Right back into it. Nice and slow. Pay attention to my speed. It's not a race. It's about really feeling it and the muscles working. Feeling your other glute on fire now? <laughs> oh, geez. The pain is real. All right, good. Five more. Oh, good. Oh, you're already out of breath like I am right now? For real, okay, so same thing we did on the other side. That leg that we were just working is the one that stays on the ground. The other leg is gonna go into that pistol. So here we go, up, up, down, down. Let the, the glutes lift the water bottle. I see a lot of people that are like holding the water bottle with their hand, no. I'm just holding the water bottle so it's stabilizing on my hip, but make sure your hip is lifting up with those glutes. That's the emphasis. Let's go five more. Whew. Take a little breather right here. Oh my gosh. Right? Who knew that sometimes when you get the best exercises, it can really give you that awesome, awesome booty burn. All right, so kind of just rocking out through the glutes and the low back and just realigning everything, taking a deep breath. Whew. We can also go into a little stretch here. So just kind of grabbing those legs and rocking it back and forth. Also, you can kind of go into that figure four. Just feel it. Awesome. Grab some water before we start our next round. Um, I wanted to give you also another tip. I've got so many tips for you today, right? So one of the things is that when you see these girls on Instagram that are just using their body weight and they have this really big, beautiful booty, <laughs> well, in order to get that really big, beautiful booty, we wanna be able to start really building up our resistance. So I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like now involving bands and weights with it, all right? So we can start on, off as a beginner with just a little bit of this but eventually when you start grabbing some weight, this is what it's gonna turn into and I'll help you learn that curve so that you can start getting results faster, okay? So if you haven't ever seen a booty band, we're gonna put a booty band on. And if you don't have one today, that's okay. Not a big deal, you can always come back and rewatch this video when you have one 
so you can feel that burn, okay? Here we go, next round. I'm already sweating, feels good. Okay, so we're going to take that foot across and diagonal lift it up. That's right. <sighs> Slow and controlled. So now that you have the band on, what we're gonna do is a little bit less reps and we have a little bit more resistance. And that is where we're gonna start to increase the size of our booty. Now, today, <laughs> um, you're not gonna, like for those that are like, I don't want a bigger booty. Okay, girl, like you'd have to be really intentionally lifting some really heavy weight in order to get there. So this is not going to make your booty ginormous just yet. We would have to grow with each other, okay? So keep in mind that if you want a smaller booty, you're going to have more reps and less weight. And if you want a little bit of a bigger booty with a little bit more curve to it, we want to add a little bit more weight. Sorry, yes, more weight and less reps. Good, bring it down. Whew. Now we're gonna go into those kickouts. So hydrant with a kick out, back and back. Good, so notice we don't have as many reps just because you're gonna be burning out a little bit quicker. That's where the booty gains are coming in. Good, last one. You can hardly talk through those. All right, so whatever leg you were working, remember which one it is. Now I'm gonna show you to not be afraid of weight, okay? I'm gonna show you if you don't have a barbell yet, how at home you can use your children or your husband or even a big water bottle. Get creative, okay? Here we go. Both feet down, I'm gonna add a little pulse right here at the end. Give us a nice little burnout. Dig those heels into the ground. Make sure that your heels are kind of more pulled up to your booty so you have a good 90 degree angle. Good, hold it up at the top. I'm gonna show you a little trick. Now as your booty's up in the air, just pulse your leg against the band. Whew. You feeling that? Beautiful, and slowly lower it back down. Great job. See, that's not so bad. You did it. All right, let's go ahead and do the other leg, but I'm really proud of you, you're doing great. Here we go, next leg. Do three more. That's right, bring it down to that hydrant and kick out. You feeling it? Oh my goodness. Three more. Hold it here. Feel what it feels like to have both legs on the ground. Oh my gosh. Notice I'm not going all the way down to the floor. I'm stopping about an inch right before I get there and sending my hips right back up. Now here, we're just gonna burn it out. Hold and push out against that band. Push, push, push. 
Good, and then roll it slowly down. And take a moment of just appreciation for what you could do today. Oftentimes we can be our biggest self-critic, but instead I want you to say, hey, I showed up for myself today. Hey, I tried something new today. Whatever that is. Now go ahead and just cross that leg over to the other one and just gently rock it back and lower down your breathing. Feel how good that feels. Good, you can even bring it all the way across the body. Love it, and then switch to the other side. Going at your own pace. Maybe you wanna add a different stretch. That's okay. Maybe after this workout, you wanna repeat it. Or maybe you wanna go on a walk. Or maybe you wanna be able to go to run around with your kids and add a little bit of some fat burning cardio at the very end. Love it. Make it your own and that's how it should be. It should be fun and it should be something that you can also add your own creativity in there. Love it. Well, my biggest goal is that there was something you learned today to advance you more and more into not being afraid of adding more weight into your workouts. That feeling feels so good when we do it right, we do it slow, we can do it together and learn that together. How cool to start seeing faster results too. You guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye everyone.